In a workshop in a small WA country town, one of the most beloved motorcycles from the annals of racing is being brought back to life. Mark Howard's Isle of Man winning Ducati. Next, the 350cc race featuring two of the world's best motorcyclists, Jim Redman of Rhodesia and Mike Halewood of Great Britain. Mike Halewood was a professional motorcycle racer and racing car driver, considered by many to be one of the greatest of all time. But the story of the race is the story of Halewood. He crashed in the middle stages and with broken windshield and bent handlebars, he roars around the final lap with a lead of more than two minutes. That particular photo One of very, Mike's very biggest fans is Ducati engineer and West Australian local, Brooke Henry. Hi, I'm Brooke Henry and uh, I own V2 Australia and we manufacture motorcycle parts for classic Ducati motorcycles here in Nanup, Western Australia. I owned, I started this business in about 1978, no 79 I started it, so that's, that's a fair while ago. I discovered uh, some, some uh, casting patterns and some drawings in Europe of a very special engine that was designed by the uh, Ducati factory in the late 70s. Uh, it was built for endurance racing. They, again, long story, but they didn't actually manufacture it. They only made five engines. Um, and one of those engines was used by Mike Harewood. So that bike sort of became quite famous and, and then the bike went to a collector and the, the Mike Harewood, the factory released the Mike Harewood replica, which they sold about 7,000 bikes, uh, but it didn't have this correct engine. Through good luck, really, that I ended up buying the drawings and the casting patterns and everything for it, I decided that why well, now I've got the business back, I should probably make some Harewoods with the correct engine. And we approached the Harwood Foundation, the, the actual Harwood family, and um, we got a license to manufacture 12 real Harwood replicas, identical to the to the bike that won the Isle of Man, and we call it the checkered flag bike. Making these bikes, we've sold several uh, around the world, um, and there's only going to ever going to be 12. They they're an expensive motorcycle. They they're just over 100,000 pounds sterling, but they are hand built and they've got the right engine in them, which will be the only hardwoods that have the right engine in them, ever. I don't know whether you noticed or not, but this has got a clear, it's got a clear, um, it's got a clear stripe in here, which is actually the fuel gauge, which, which Harwood's bike had. And um, so when we manufacture these tanks, we, we, we make them identical. And uh, it's quite a, in actual, in actual fact, it's quite a good thing. It's a very, it's a very effective, um, it's a very effective fuel gauge. Um, and and um, people like it. Brooke Henry's work with Halewood Replicas has caught the attention of some big names in the Hollywood film industry. You know, I couldn't understand why a guy like Mike, Mike Harwood, with his whole story, his life story, no one had done a movie about his comeback about him himself. I mean, he's an incredible road racer. A well-known Australian actor, Eric Banner, unbeknown to me, was actually talking to Pauline Harewood at the time when I was talking to her to, to, to secure the, the rights to these bikes. But it is 100% happening, and we're going to make, um, we're making two bikes that are drone, what they call drones, which will be for the uh, fast, like the motion riding on the track. State-of-the-art machinery is vital in Brooks' line of work. Uh, all we make on these machines is parts for bevel drive 
Ducati, that's it, that's all we make. We do a lot of restoration on, on Ducati engines in, 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 in the, on the whole, and these are, these are just jobs in the shop. Well, I'll show, you the, I'll show you the new heads that we actually cast. So these are factory heads that are, that are off normal standard Ducati road bikes. We were fortunate to be um, successful with a, a government um, grant uh, as a, t to assist in the payment for a project that I elected and I elected to, the project that I elected was to get a five axis, simultaneous, dedicated milling machine that would, that was designed to manufacture castings and um, all the, all the specialised bits and pieces. And for me to be able to have that at my fingertips in my own workshop here in Nana is, I, I never ever dreamed of that happening. But it, it has happened. It's here. We just we, we just only we had to take the side of the shed off here to, to bring it in. I don't know how many of those in Australia, but there's only another. There's, at the moment, there's only another one, maybe two of those in Western Australia, and the, and and that one in Nanup, which is pretty crazy. These are our own cylinder heads. So this is a this is a blank one. So that that just that's how it comes out of the out of the out of the pattern. You know, ready for machining. And there's one here that's. It doesn't look like the Ducati Master from WA will be slowing down anytime soon.